Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Sunday, October the 3rd. Yeah, October 3rd. And I am en route back to Memphis. I took a quick, quick trip home to Chattanooga to visit my family. Had to go check on my mom and take some things to her. My mother turned 80 on September 21st and I didn't get a chance to go home for her birthday. So I wanted to, um, you know, take some things to her, celebrate her a little bit. And then also get an opportunity to visit with my grandchildren and my daughter and my son-in-law who also lives in Chattanooga. So I'm en route back to Memphis and guys, it's a rainy day. Just passed through a really bad accident. So my prayers are going up to whoever was in that vehicle because it was flipped over and looked like it caught fire and everything so it's real dangerous it's raining and I said to myself you know I'm just gonna take my time uh, I do like to get back before dark but it's not worth risking um, dangerous driving um, trying to go fast and speeding and everything like that to make it back but I just wanted to uh, jump on really quick while I was driving um, I, I enjoy doing in the car vlog so this is one on my way back so I'm just gonna talk to you guys for a little while I hope you guys can see me it is a little cloudy outside so it's making uh, the light I think in on the camera come across really dark so I'm supposed to ride out of it because it's not raining in Memphis at the moment but I'm supposed to get rain pretty much all the way from Chattanooga to Nashville so I see some bright spots in the sky but I think I'm gonna hit a little bit of rain here in a little bit but I wanted to drop in and um, just thank you guys for your support uh, a lot of people hit me up on uh, other social media platforms to check on me make sure I was doing good in the last video I had told you that I was dealing with a couple things and I was a little bit you know off a little down um, I had to release and you know just allow myself to to feel what I was feeling and I did and I'm actually much better I'm still dealing with the issue however I do feel much better I have gotten to the point in my life where I can actually um, accept the things that I can control and the ones that I can't I can accept that and, and go on with life so uh, the things that are happening right now around me are some things that out of, that's out of my control and I actually didn't want to get on camera and just kind of discuss that stuff I just wanted to let you guys know because I know sometimes my um, personality can be very bright and over the top and you guys know I'm in a good place and then there's times I'm a little somber and not as high spirited so I don't want to you know be hiding it or pretending like I don't deal with things that go on in life because I do just like everybody else but in spite of all of that I still like to try and motivate people even when I'm going through things so that's why I come on and share my thoughts about uh, when you're dealing with things and to just let you guys get a peek at how I deal with it because I feel that you have to be positive regardless you have to have a positive mindset that whatever you're experiencing is uh, only temporary because in life things are just temporary things are just temporary and um, I'm also dealing with some things with uh, with family, and so yeah, it's been a little little hard for me right now. Um, I used to believe that I had a unique family; that my family was the only one who dealt with uh, issues of uh, people uh, separating from you, disowning you, um, just keeping up a bunch of chaos. But I realized that that's just life in general; that everybody goes through this this type of stuff, and that some people just have it worse than others or longer than others but you know all of us deal with uh, trials and things with our families and that it's a normal process everybody is not the Huxtables <laughs> I know that's an old school family I, don't, I can't think of a recent family that I can compare it to but you know everybody deal with stuff so you know I'm just a little sensitive uh, I am a very a sentimental person I do like peace I do like family to to get along and love one another but I am realizing that you know all things are not for me to control and that's a story for me to share about 
family that, you know, we have to know when to step away, especially when you, you have children and you have adult children. You got to step out of their lives and stop trying to be so controlling of the way things should be because once a child becomes an adult, especially once they start their own families and, and um, you know, they're providing for themselves, it is not your job to be trying to um, tell these adult children how to live their lives. The best way to share your thoughts on how is to be the example. And uh, I learned that and I'm sharing that with you guys because we have so many parents who still try to control their children or try to tell them how they should live their lives. And even though it may look different from yours, be totally different, it is their life and they are responsible for it. You don't, you're no longer responsible for their actions or what they do. But if you feel that they should be living differently or, or doing things differently, then just be the example of what that is and stop trying to insinuate, insinuate yourself into their lives. Stop trying to tell them what to do. Stop being nosy. <laughs> stop being, um, you know, that chaotic or that drama in-law, mother-in-law, father-in-law, and just keep your nose out their business and live your life. And an example that when your kids see you, they can say, okay, yeah, my mom is showing me, you know, how to, to live my life in a way that will be um, peaceful and that will be thriving and, you know, create that positiveness that I want. That's the best thing you could do. And um, also we have to stop living in the spot, under the spotlight of our parents. You know, this is for somebody special that I love. You know, we often just keep seeking approval. And I was that girl, that's why I can talk about this. I was that girl when it came to my mom. I wanted to please my mom. So everything I, I did, I wanted to make sure she was okay with it, she approved it. And oftentimes, she didn't even care one way or the other. Or um, it was just something that was different from her. Because we have to realize we're all from different areas, eras of time. And things have changed, technology is different, uh, styles are different and you can't be under the shadow of your parents thinking that you gotta dress like them look like them or like the things that they they like you're gonna be different and it's okay to express it and however that is how it however eccentric that is you know um you guys know that i am seeing someone and he tells me all the time you're just different you're so eccentric and you're eclectic and and i said i asked him uh, when we first started dating, I said, do you have a problem with that? I said, because I'm not going to be the cookie cutter of the typical woman that you're probably used to or uh, women in general. I don't uh, get into high fashion and designer, this or that. I'm just pretty natural and I like ethnic and, um, you know, I'm very uh, into promoting um black businesses and black on things and uh, I like showing our diversity, our culture. Uh, yeah, I'm into that. So you got to be on board with that if you date me because I'm definitely not going to change. So he was just like, that was a part of what attracted me to you was your uniqueness and your difference, the, the, the differences that you had. Why am I stuttering? I'm going da 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 like I'm stuttering and stuff. But um, yeah, we got to stop reaching out and seeking the approval from my parents and uh, siblings and, and friends and, you know, just be unique. Uh, often I'm asked about that and when I'm asked, I will share my thoughts, but definitely don't want anybody to try to duplicate who I am because I am one way today, I may be something tomorrow. So, <laughs> yeah, to create your own style, be who you are unapologetically. And I think when you do that, that's when you find yourself being happy. When you're trying to mimic and, and, uh, and, to, and um, imitate other people in your life, you, you can't be happy because it's not authentic. You gotta be 100% yourself. And I think as you get older, that should, should build uh, that confidence within you to be okay and be self-approving and not seeking validation. So yeah, I love that about growing older is that you kind of whether you realize it or not you just kind of develop your own style when people get setting their ways um it just is what it is but that's all i wanted to share today i'm gonna uh probably show you guys this mountain when i go up it it's so beautiful i love riding through 
Tennessee Valley. It is one of the most beautiful states when it comes to mountains. And people often drive through here just to see the fall colors. It hasn't changed yet, but it's about to start. And it's a, it's a scenic drive that a lot of people make um, so that they can see the colors. So I'm gonna, when I get closer to Mount Eagle Mountain, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the mountain view. And I'm gonna wrap up this little vloggy vlog, guys. And I'll see you guys when I make it back to Memphis, hopefully God willing. And we'll pick up starting on next week with some new content. Looking forward to the new year, this new season. Guys, it's almost the end of 2021. Can you believe that? We have two months after this month, guys. This is October. I can't believe we made it through another year. We've been two years down, two whole years down in this pandemic. Only God knows what's to come, but I know we gotta be flexible to, to move and bend with it. So let me get on down. I'm gonna stop at this exit up here. I'm a little hungry, give me something to eat. And then when I hop back in, I'm gonna show you guys some scenic views. I wish you all a happy Sunday. Love you guys. Remember, peace is the way. And I'll see you later. Take care. Well, you guys, I was hoping to show you some beautiful scenic views. But as you see, the rain came. But this was a perfect example of what I was trying to talk about in life. Sometimes when you have plans to do things, things that are out of your control will happen, just like this weather. It just fell upon me, and there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. But one thing I've learned in this journey of life is that you have to be able to be flexible and to be able to adapt to the situations around you. That's what life is. It's a constant change. If you're not able to learn that lesson, this world will swallow you up. Everything that's happening right now is showing us that we have to learn how to make our way and to accept the things that we can't change and to work on those things that we can. Because guys, everything in life is temporary. And just like that, the sun came out. It was a beautiful day, beautiful clouds in the sky. The road was dry and I was on my way. Look how beautiful it is. So you gotta ride the tide, guys, in life. There'll be ups and downs, hills and valleys. But one thing for sure, got to keep going so guys don't get so down on life when things are happening just say this to yourself this too shall pass and no matter what I will never never give up thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video take care <music>